Welcome yet to another IJDM Quick Take. This one will just do a brief overview of, you got that old laptop, what are you going to do with it? Don't throw it out! This is a laptop from roughly around 2003-2004. It's an old Dell laptop. It does have a decent screen. It is the 4x3 aspect ratio. You're like, oh no, I want the 16x9. I want the wider one. Well, no. It is what it is, and don't throw it in a pile to be recycled or anything. If it still works and the hard drive is working okay, then don't get rid of it. I mean, save it. It, it. it still has uses, and this is just one use you can you can do and easy to do, and I don't condone by any means of copyright laws or whatever, but when I got most of the stuff, I got them from archive sites way, way back in the day, and it was... There was no interest in any of this stuff. So, I mean, all the games I have on here are pretty much ones I found on archive sites that were basically abandonware. So, for instance, <clears throat> and I'm going to avoid on purpose any type of uh, Nintendo type games, but we'll just do because this is a standard one that's out everywhere. And to be honest with you, on eBay, there's dozens and dozens of units that are pre-built that you spend three, four, five hundred dollars on that are arcade units, and it's it's ridiculous, and they include the actual ROMs that are on here. So in no way do I feel guilty or anything in doing this. And I mean, if if I had the option to to pay even a couple bucks for these, I and that's what's required, then fine, but make them available. They didn't make them available. Somebody else had to go and do it to preserve these games and let other people enjoy them. And just having my nephews over uh, uh, not too long ago and letting them play with this laptop, and they they were enjoying these old games, especially, you know, Miss Pac-Man. And well, here it goes, and you fire it up, and it's up and running. And let me make sure that the audio is working. And as you can see on the bottom of the screen, I know it's not easy to see. There is a credit thing. So you actually do, this is actually the game that was in the system. You just don't have the arcade unit. So you gotta, you gotta put in a few coins and well, let's put in a few coins and I'm not sure. How... Okay. I have it programmed to the joystick right now, which I'm just using the uh, C64 one. You know, just kind of give that arcade experience. I mean, I'd love to build a full scale one where you, you could actually take a quarter and just drop it in the machine and, and, and have that feeling, but, and build maybe a tabletop type unit, but I'm not at that point yet. And I, I've said a dozen times, I don't have the space. So I believe you just hit that and yeah, you're up and running. And you're playing this pac -Man. And you're like, okay, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And it, it is kind of like being in an arcade. So you have a few friends over and you just pull up one of these games and you know, it's, it's, it's kind of a neat thing. And there's other tricks to this, too. And the emulator I use is, is one of the main SDLs, <clears throat> which has the... I like these menus better than some of the fancy-dancy ones. I like the ones that are just fairly simple. But you can put in all kinds of cheats, like infinite credits. Well, who cares? Because, I mean, you're not really putting in real quarters anyways. And you, even if you did, you could, there's a way to bypass that. Uh, infinite lives, invincibility, speed hack. Okay, well, what's speed hack about? So let's go back to the game and just see what a speed hack is. Oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it makes for some interesting fun, and uh, it definitely gives you an advantage of uh, getting something with a ghost. The only problem is it makes it nearly impossible to make any type of turns, and you end up dying anyways. But I put a few different games on here, and I'm mainly doing the ones that I, I've seen advertised uh, with other emulation systems. Uh, and to avoid any type of issues with with whatever, but there's Moon Patrol, and yeah, we're, you know, we just put in some quarters and okay, that's enough because I'm not sure how they if they do. Does anybody know? Do you do they actually flag like old like game music? That'd be an interesting thing to to look up. I've never thought about that before. And plenty of games to choose from if if Qbert was your thing, and if you prefer something new like like Road Blasters, one of my favorite games. I, I remember going to the supermarket and they had one of these like parts where the, you know, usually when you go in the old supermarkets, they actually had uh, game systems sitting out uh, near where the carts were, so you could just pop in a few coins. And I mean nowadays, no, they don't do that. And here's Road Blasters. I mean, ready to go. It's just it's one of those neat things and. 
you can do a joystick and then there is a way to hook up a actual uh, you know full unit there's a way you can hook up a steering wheel or whatever you need for the game some of the units they have now they they do have different options and like a joystick and some of them have the trackball if that's required for like some of the golf games very neat stuff so don't throw away that old laptop don't send it off to recycling if it's still working it's just a matter of finding somebody and you always have that one friend that knows the tech enough that they can reformat the computer, clean it up, because usually if they're slow, it's because a bunch of stuff was installed on it, too many updates, and that's why it doesn't work with a, a crud anymore. So the main thing you just want to do at this point is, is just preserve them. And this one I did reformat, and I did clean it up, and I pretty much just run the emulators on here, and this what this machine is. It just, just sits on my computer counter, and whenever I have a few friends over, I pull up a game, and sometimes they play it, sometimes they don't, but it's there. It's just kind of one of those things that gives you a little bit of ambience, if, you know, especially with things that have gone on in the past year it's it's one of those cool things that kind of makes you feel like you're still in a bar environment or you know one of those situations you're at a restaurant or whatever with the arcade games and the little game rooms or whatever and something fun for the kids to do too and you can choose other games and it's fairly easy to do i mean it's all up and down arrows and there it is that's it for now this is just a quick take and if you want more information uh feel free to comment or ask me a question via the uh however they do that on youtube that's it for now, and have a great night.